problem number 5 from sheet number 3 uh, in this projection of line problem uh, one more complexity will be added which is a midpoint c but same you have to follow same rule you have to find out a true length theta and phi and uh, position of end points so true length is 80 mm so a line AB 80 mm long is inclined at 30 degree 33 degree to the HP so this is given to you 33 degree and 45 degree to the VP which is given to you as well its midpoint C is in the VP and 80 mm above HP so here if this is your line AB this is your line AB and this is the midpoint C so the position of C is given to you instead of A or B so be careful so now we are considering this CB as a line as a one line and at the end of the problem means once we completed all the structure uh, standard structure then we will add AC in that to find out the final AB line so you have to consider CB so now C is a midpoint the uh, the length of this AB line is 80 mm so our true length our true length for line CB is 40 mm now we are considering this true length to construct our solution and position of point C is also given to us which is on the VP on the uh, uh, C is in the VP and 80 mm above HP so now we have to construct a line xy now point is on the vp that means c point is vp and 18 mm above hp that means this distance so this point is c dash so C dash is given to us that is 18 mm now we are using true length of 40 mm theta to construct B1 dash you can see you have to follow this standard image to construct all to solve all the theta phi and everything if you don't know the true length then EL is given to you so from the, uh, to find out el you need what you need let's uh, let's discuss a dash b dash so you if you need if you have a el then you can get this b2 dash point and from b2 dash you can draw this line and to, you can join this line so you can get true length out of this so accordingly this is like a puzzle sudoku you have to go for all the lines and all the angles are connected with each other you just have to crack that code so let's uh, construct this standard image out of this by using this data so theta is 33 degree so you have to draw a reference line out of it and measure a 33 degree and draw a 40 mm long line because uh, this is a midpoint it's not a uh, actual line so you have to draw a 40 mm line not a 80 mm so this point this point is not a final point so you have to draw b1 dash here now project this b1 dash on the line passing from c so this point is your b1 it's a projection of b1 dash now now you have uh, so this point this angle is a theta and this is a true length here i have considered true length as a 40 mm not a 80 mm so don't be confused with that now we are going to use for five and true length to find out b2 point 45 and 40 mm so this point is your b2 point 
same projection you have to take from B2 and project it on a line passing from C dash. So this is B2 dash. Now I have constructed this C B2 line by using 5 and true length as a 40 mm. Draw locus lines from B1 dash and B2 dash. B2. This is a locus of B dash. This is locus of B. Now, one more data is given to you, which is very useful. While its end A is in the third quadrant. So, if end A is in the third quadrant, that means front view is below XY line. That means A dash must be below XY line and top view is above XY line. So, A must be come above XY line and A dash must be in below A, uh, XY line. But and B is in the first quadrant. So, this is perfect. This is right. Uh, we are going in the right direction. Now, what we, you need to do? Same which we have already did. C dash B2 dash make an arc like this. Find out this point. Same C B1 make an arc like this. So this point is your B point and this point is your B dash point. Now we are considering only CB line. We are not considering AB line here. So this is your line. So as per the only CB line, this is your elevation length and this is your plan length. But here C is the only midpoint. We need point A here. So how to get a, a point? There are two methods. First one is you can directly. So you have to use this distance and extend this line up to here. You, that is for uh, I will explain first problem uh, first statement first. You have to draw. You have to extend this C dash B1 dash up to here up to 80 mm. That means this line if this is a A1 dash because this is not a final point. So this line must be A80 mm. This line is 80 mm. So if this is a 40 mm. So this line is also 40 mm. Same way you have to extend this line also. in this direction. So this point is your A2 because it's not a final point as well. Now you have to find out the projections of uh, these lines. To find out final point you have to draw a locus line from these two points. So this is a locus of a because you don't know on which uh, the position of A is. This is a locus of A dash. Okay, so we, we can get anywhere on uh, on this line our A dash. So now extend this C dash B dash line on this locus line. Just extend it up to here on this locus line. So this point is your a dash. So this point is your A dash. So A dash and B dash. So this is your final length. Same you have to extend this C dash B dash on this location locus line. So this point is your A. So A B is your this A B is your plan length of A B. And this is your elevation length of AB. The inclination angle with respect to HP, it is your 5 and this is your alpha. This is your alpha and this is your beta apparent angle. So this is problem number 5, sheet number 3.